This is gonna look a little weird and super zoomed in because I have a different lens on the camera. My normal lens, I forgot at the salon. And I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but I just woke up this morning and I was like, I didn't vlog anything all week and I am just in the mood to talk to the camera. I don't know. So I'm randomly starting this vlog on a Saturday, mid doing my makeup, clearly. Just doing something a little bit light. I don't know if you can tell from the sound of my voice, but I got a cold again. <laughs> I feel like I was just sick a few weeks ago and uh, yeah. I got a cold again, but I'm not surprised honestly because this past weekend I flew up north to go to a wedding and I feel like anytime you're on a plane, pretty good chance that you'll catch something. And I also got like barely any sleep the whole weekend and just long travel days and all of that and then i got right back here and was straight to working at the salon and because i was gone for a few days i was working a little extra working longer days to kind of make up for the days that i took off hence why it is currently saturday and i'm going to work normally i work tuesday through fridays but one or two times a month i will work a saturday so that's what I'm doing today and I am looking forward to finishing out the week because then I have a bunch of admin stuff I need to do and editing and all that still so <sighs> but at least with those kinds of things I can be home in my pajamas in bed if I want to it's just a busy time and I got a bunch of weddings one of which I am working and also attending the other ones I'm just attending, luckily, but I just got a lot going on this, like, month or so. I feel, luckily, like, I'm on the tail end of this. My nose won't stop running, but other than that, I feel pretty good. I took some cold medicine. Hopefully, that will stop my nose. So, yeah. Today, I just have one client, which, thank God. Because <laughs> every other day this week, I worked late. I had big transformations color corrections it was a lot <laughs> you do get tired by the end of a long week so i'm looking forward to going and doing the one client today she's a returning client she is so sweet and so fun to hang out with has beautiful hair she does have a lot of hair though so that's also why i'm like i'm glad i just have her i can take my time i don't have to feel rushed if it ends up taking like a little bit longer you know i can just Take my time. I'm gonna figure something out with this hair. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna slick it back because I don't really have time to like blow it out or do anything else with it. And I'll show you my outfit when I get to the salon. I'm gonna try to get there early because I need to clean from yesterday because it yesterday was just like a long crazy day. By the time I finished, I was like, I just need to go home. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to, so. I want to clean and just make sure like everything is set up and looking good. So yeah, I'll see you there. I got the regular lens back on the camera. It's super dark in here. <sighs> it's very cloudy. But here is my outfit. This top is from Zara. The faux leather cargo pants are from Gap. Sandals are from Cider. So yeah, here is how... I left it yesterday. The garbage is like overflowing, so we need to get rid of that. And it's not too bad. I just have one color bottle I have to wash, and then I have to put that stuff away and clean my tray and like spray down this chair. It is like 11.20 almost. My client's appointment isn't until 12, so we got plenty of time, but first, what I have been doing every, well, most weeks. I've been posting an Instagram reel with all of my outfits of the week. It's like, you know, just some outfit inspo. I just thought to do it the one week and then I was like, oh, I should just keep doing it this way, like this kind of style, just for the consistency and then that way. I think it's like good to always have like a reoccurring theme and something that is recognizable so that if people are coming across your content and there's something that they can recognize, they'll immediately be like, oh yeah, I've seen that person before. And sometimes people aren't interested and necessarily want to follow you just after seeing you one time, but if they're seeing you over and over and over again, they might be like, okay, let me, let me follow this person. So this is like, one of the ways 
that I am doing that currently. So I've just been getting clips of me like walking in through the door. It's just like a quick, you know, two second clip or whatever. So we're gonna record video. And then I'm just gonna pretend like I'm walking in. Just a little behind the scenes of making content. That's literally it. And then I'm just gonna go back, check the video, make sure I like how the clip looks. So yeah, that's a super easy content idea for you. Like just getting some clips of your outfits of the week. It also like kind of motivates me, honestly, to dress kind of cute because like, for example, today I was really tempted to just wear sweats or like leggings and an oversized shirt. Which, like, I, I could have made it cute, I guess. But I was like, oh, but I already recorded all my outfits this week. And, like, they were, I was, like, put together. It does feel good when you are, like, excited to go to work every day. And you feel that extra motivation to want to put a little more effort into your outfits. And I just feel like, in general, since I've opened my suite... I've just felt like more creative in all aspects. Let me get everything cleaned up and set up for my client. I will show you her hair and I'll try to get as many clips of the process as I can, but quick backstory, her hair was a da really dark artificial brown like many months ago. I can't even remember when I first did her hair, but it was like back in the spring spring or early summer i want to say and her goal was to be an old money expensive brunette so she wanted to be like lighter more cool tone so i was like well since you have the artificial color and it's so dark we'll start by lightening you up a little bit first get kind of a lighter base and then we can kind of see where we need to go from there so i ended up just doing like open air bleach all over her entire ends where she had the dark color and it lightened up and then I toned it to just like a nice medium brown but now we're going to finally complete the transformation I'm excited I've been doing a lot of brunettes lately and as much as I do love doing blondes and I feel like blonding was really like my first love and the thing that I really felt was my specialty and what I felt the most confident in first. But there's just something so satisfying about a beautiful, rich, like dimensional brunette. And it's also just nice to get to change it up and not do the same thing over and over and over and not have to do 10 million foils on someone's head, you know? So here's what her hair looked like before as you can see the color that i did a few months back completely faded and it now is super warm and brassy and pretty grown out so i started by doing a few foils kind of spread throughout her head so that i could lighten up the color a little bit more break through that brassiness and also bring the lighter pieces up higher and then everything that i left out in between the foils I saturated with a slightly darker, more cool toned demi permanent color. So that way, again, we could neutralize any of the brassiness and keep her color nice and dimensional. So this is what her hair looked like in the end. A lot more cooled down and dimensional and it just looks so beautiful and natural on her. Love it. Just finished my client. I just love her. She is the best. Now I'm just going to clean up really quick. I was cleaning as I went, so I don't have too much to do. Just got to sweep and spray everything down. But it is now 426. She was running a little bit late. She got here like 1215-ish or something like that. Maybe a little bit later. But I was like, you know, it's fine because I have to clean anyway. And I was able to do some laundry 
and post an Instagram reel. Um, and then by the time we did our consultation and all of that, it was probably like 1230 that we started. So I want to say that was about three and a half to four hours total for color and cut. And then obviously blow dry style, check out, take pictures, blah, blah, blah. And considering she has so much hair, that actually went quicker than I was expecting, to be honest. Running low on yet another bottle of the Dossier Ambery Saffron. I always find that scents remind me of a certain point in my life and I started wearing this right around the time that I first came down to Wilmington to check it out and apartment hunt and it's been just my go-to everyday scent most days once in a while I'll switch it up but this has been like my signature scent since I've lived down here so just it will just always remind me of moving down to North Carolina and like that era of my life, being completely independent and on my own. I love it, it's so good. And then I like to mix it with the Victoria's Secret Teas Cream Cloud, like layering those two together, just, mm, it's so, so good. But it is currently Tuesday morning. I'm about to head to the salon. Honestly, I am just not in the mood to like dress super cute and do makeup or anything like that. I am definitely about to get my period. I'm feeling the cramps already. So just wearing this t-shirt from H&M that I tied up and then my like baggy loose 90s jeans from Good American. These are my favorite jeans. I just have two clients. The first one is one of my regulars. We're just doing a partial to just touch up her blonde and a trim probably and then the second one is new coming for a haircut wants a lot of layers so that should be fun in a couple days I have a bunch of friends coming into town and staying with me because our friend is getting married this weekend I am really really looking forward to it it's gonna be so fun so many people are coming from out of town. I need to make sure that my place is clean, that the bed sheets and everything for the guest room are washed. So after work today, I'm just gonna come back here and get all of that done. So yeah, that is the plan for the day. I will see you at the salon. I don't have too much to do before my client gets here. I just have to put away the dry clean tools get the hot towels in the towel warmer also I'm going to flip these reeds around. <clears throat> Try to remember to do this like once a week or so just to keep these smelling strong. These are the reed diffusers from Dossier, the same company that I was showing you guys, you know, my signature perfume. And they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So thank you so much to Dossier. They make replicas of well-known brand name designer fragrances for a fraction of the price. And not only do they make perfumes, colognes, unisex fragrances, but they also have home scents like their reed diffusers and candles. And I love the reed diffusers because they just are constantly giving off a scent. And if you actually look up my suite, like Sam Bay Studios on Google, one of the top reviews says something about it smelling really good in here, which I think is so funny. I love it. And every time a new client comes in, that is one of the first things they will mention is how good it smells in here. So I've been using the Woody Sandalwood Reed Diffusers, which this is a dupe for the Lilabo Santal fragrance. Definitely the scent that I wanted for this space. Just like a really calming, nice scent. I love it. So I just make sure, like I said, to flip the reeds once a week or so, just to make sure they're not like drying out at the top. So that way 
they keep giving off scent. So if you guys want to check out Dossier for yourself, I will have a link and a discount code in the description. And thank you so much again to them for sponsoring a portion of this video. I am all set up for my client. I'm going to go make myself a coffee actually because I haven't had any caffeine yet and I need it. And we still got like 13 minutes before my first appointment. It is so humid in here. Look how fogged up the lens is. I thought these days were behind us, but apparently not. Um, I just finished my clients for the day. It was such a good day. My first one, like I had said, is one of my regulars. We were just doing a refresh, so she's just so great. And then the second one was new, and we did a haircut, and she loved it in the end. And she, I wish I was recording. She literally said, Oh my god, I have ne like my hair's never felt like this before. Like I've never had a cut this good and I was like And even during the consultation, I was asking her a ton of questions and she was like, "Oh, I don't know. I haven't even really thought about it. Like I've never been asked these kinds of questions before." And that just always makes me feel so good. And obviously, like I want people to have a good experience. I want them to feel like there's value in the experience and the service that they're getting but i'm not gonna lie like it strokes my ego too it just feels good to like get that validation of you know i'm doing something right and that's what i want to do like i just want to improve upon this industry and keep getting better myself and just you know provide that like thoroughness and thoughtfulness and attention to detail and the experience that you know maybe clients aren't used to or haven't experienced before if I have somebody leave feeling like wow that was a memorable experience like that was really good not just like oh, okay yeah I went to get my hair cut but like leaving feeling like wow you know it's the best but I am going to Stop at Trader Joe's on my way home because it's literally like a block from here, which is so nice. And then I'm gonna head home, show you what I get. And yeah, I have a lot of cleaning to do. So I'll see you back at home. Okay, I love this time of year. Like truly, it is my favorite. The smells, the foods, the weather, the colors, the decor spooky season oh it's just such a cozy like wholesome fun time of year they had all their fall stuff out and i was just love to see it so i got a couple of the seasonal things first thing is the butternut squash mac and cheese which i know is really really popular i can't remember if i've ever had this or not i must have but i don't really remember but everybody this is like a big popular fall item there and then the apple cider donuts is another popular fall item at trader joe's they're so good especially if you put them in the microwave for a couple seconds to warm them up and then i got the sourdough bread i also got this pasta and i got some alfredo sauce grated parmesan cheese italian chicken sausage lastly i got some cookie butter because i have not had this in a really really long time or haven't bought it in a long time i should say sort of recently i've had a cookie butter iced latte and then a cookie butter iced matcha latte so delicious so i kind of want to attempt to make my own cookie butter latte i've never made this before 
I'm sure I could look up a recipe online, but I don't feel like that's necessary. So I think the easiest way to make sure that this gets like blended up nice and smooth and I don't have just like glops of it in the drink is to blend it. So I'm gonna take plain half and half. I don't want it to be like too, too sweet. So I think I'll just take that much. So I'll blend this up in my little Nutribullet. Ooh, that smells so good. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And it made it nice and frothy too. Or this, actually, I guess I could have just had the whole drink in this, but whatever. I'm gonna add ice. And I'm gonna pour my espresso in two shots. And then I'm gonna mix it up. Oh, I put the straw in upside down. Oh well. Mm-hmm. Mmm, that is so good and it was the perfect amount of cookie butter because the coffee obviously is really strong but there's enough that you can definitely taste the cookie butter but not too much where it's like overly sweet because I don't like a super sweet coffee. 10 out of 10 and the best part is this is something that easily would have cost me $7 at a coffee shop and I just made it at home in like two seconds. Sorry I didn't vlog very much today. It is now three o'clock. I got a lot done last night and then earlier today. It feels good to just have a nice clean apartment and have like everything checked off my to-do list. And I'm just really excited for my friends to get into town and to kickstart the weekend. But I wanted to share because I'm just like, oh my God, it's crazy how you can have so many good weeks back to back where you're fully booked, you have new clients reaching out and scheduling future appointments, everybody's pre-booking their next appointments. It feels amazing. You're like, oh my God, my business is doing so well. I'm so booked and busy. And then you will have a week or so where everybody within the one week cancels or has to reschedule or change their appointment that is the week that I'm having right now and I'm just like what is going on and I'm trying to remind myself that like I have been in business now for like a month and a half ish and every single week since I've been open has been really good and this is just part of the industry that we're in you know it happens sometimes but I definitely wanted to share because I'm like oh my god it's such a bummer and it's a little stressful especially when you're on your own because you know if I was in a commission salon I'd be like damn okay I'm making a lot less money this week but at least I'm not owing rent or anything but when you're having a slow week when you're independent it's like okay well whether I'm there all week or not I still have to pay the full amount of my weekly rent and you know also have leftover for my own income so I can pay my personal bills and get groceries it was already going to be a little bit of a slower week anyway just because of like how it was like I just wasn't as booked this week to begin with and then I also took off Friday and Saturday because of the wedding and then everybody's just been rescheduling. I was supposed to have two clients tonight. The one had to cancel. The second one tonight asked to change her appointment and not do a haircut. So that's gonna be like a little bit less money. And then one of my clients tomorrow just texted me and said she's pregnant and just found out. So we're not gonna do any color. We're just gonna do a haircut. So that's like a big cut, like, you know, a big cut in my income. Cause obviously color costs a lot more. So yeah, I'm like, hmm, it's kind of a bummer, but it's all good. These things happen. It's just the nature of things. That's why it's super important to be really smart with your money and save, set money aside because you never know. 
you're gonna have some weeks where you're doing really really well and you're making more money than usual and then you're gonna have weeks like the week I'm having where you make a lot less money than usual so it all ends up balancing out at the end of the day but it's important that you know when you are going through that time where you're making more you're saving that money and setting it aside for a rainy day because you just never know um, or you know there could be a week where you're sick and you have to reschedule all your appointments and make no money that whole week so I just wanted to share that like you know it happens to me too and especially because I feel like every vlog since I opened my suite I've been like yeah it's such a good week I'm so busy I'm so booked it's so great uh, and I just wanted to share that like these weeks happen so I'm gonna try to not get too discouraged I'm gonna keep doing my best keep posting on Instagram promoting myself and just you know manifest that I will be busy again next week and just continue to have successful fully booked weeks. But on the bright side, because everyone has been like rescheduling and changing their appointments, it's given me a lot of extra time to clean and just do what I need to do at home. <sighs> Hello, it's the next day sorry I didn't vlog my client at all last night um we literally just covered her roots but I just went to Cosmoprof so I had to restock on a few things I have a new client coming this evening that is new to the area and she gave me her formula from her previous stylist so normally when I get a new client and they like their hair as is they just like moved and they need to find somebody new i will usually just keep it the same but then talk like consult with them make sure it really is what they love and that it's working for them and see if they want to change it up or go in a different direction so these are the colors i am using tonight got wella illumina i do really really love this color so we got 781 and 836 that's permanent color then I got a few boxes of Wella Demi Permanent color for clients that I have next week. Then I got two tubs of Wella Blondor. This is my favorite lightning powder. I got this because this actually was on sale 25% off. So it was like $23 for both bottles, which is pretty good. And I got this for my own personal use. This is the Sebastian Penetrate, which I am, let's give it a, a smell. Oh my God. I'm like instantly transported to beauty school and like that time of my life. Cause this is what I use. The school that I went to was a Wella and Sebastian school. So I will always like love Wella and Sebastian products the most. Um, but this is what I used as my shampoo and conditioner when I was in school and I haven't used it since but it's really good stuff this is like to help with strengthening and repairing your hair and I always like every time I finish a bottle of shampoo and conditioner I like to just kind of rotate and do something different and then I'll just kind of like cycle through like my handful of favorites just because I get bored using the same thing over and over so I figured while it's on sale I may as well grab it there's only one left also of this I'm gonna save that for when I finish my current shampoo and conditioner which currently I have been using the Sebastian dark oil shampoo and conditioner and I am about to travel out of town in two weeks so I grabbed these mini bottles to bring with me on my trip <clears throat> that way i don't have to carry around like a big heavy full size because the bottles i have in my shower right now are these big liter size bottles oh i guess i could have used like those like refillable travel bottles i do have those i forgot oh well whatever it's fine and then i got two bottles of the sebastian dark oil silkening mist this is like a dry oil spray, basically. It smells so good. It makes your hair so soft to the touch. I will spray this all over myself. So I got one as a gift for one of my friends. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then this one, I'm gonna keep here at the salon. All the dark oil stuff was also, I think like 20 or 25% off. So I was like, perfect, let me get that. And then I also got another bottle of the dark oil oil for personal use. This also is 
one of those things that I used all the time in beauty school so it's very nostalgic to me whenever I smell it and it's just one of my favorite scents of all time I love it and then I just got a bottle of five volume developer that's everything I got at Cosmoprof I'm gonna put this stuff away um, my client should be here any minute I am doing my friend that's getting married this weekend her sister's coming for a blowout she's super curly hair so we're gonna blow it out straight for her so she can have it straight for the weekend and then i have two haircuts back to back then i'm gonna have like an hour gap which is actually good because i have laundry and stuff i need to do so i'll just do some cleaning and stuff like that and then my last client is coming for her roots That's what i got this for so when i stopped and got a pumpkin spice iced coffee mm. Okay, it was completely non-stop for the last few hours there. I just finished my second client, just texted my third client because she had a haircut scheduled for four o'clock and it's now actually 419. It makes me a little bit nervous, like if it's a first time client and they're late and I don't hear anything, I'm like, they're probably no showing but if it's someone that i know and they're not here and they don't reach out i get nervous i'm like i hope they're okay it's just so funny of course you know the week when like my schedule is just so whack and everybody keeps canceling and rescheduling and changing their appointments then of course somebody forgets fortunately she's okay she just got her dates mixed up and read the calendar wrong. I thought her appointment was tomorrow. I'm gonna work on getting her rescheduled and then I'm gonna clean in here. I'm gonna go check on my laundry. Oh, I also cut myself while I was doing that haircut and it hurt pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. I decided I still have an hour. I just finished cleaning, put my laundry away. And I still have so much time to kill. So I'm just gonna wash my hair because it's very greasy and I'm gonna use that shampoo and conditioner that I got. I actually haven't worn my hair quite like this with the bangs like swooped in a very long time. I love it, it's so cute. Oh, and I just love the feeling of super clean hair. I'm gonna load it up though with dry shampoo, the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo. That way, it'll not only give me more volume, but it'll prevent my hair from getting oily as quickly and hopefully this will last me till Saturday and I won't have to wash my hair again. So I just take sections, hold it at a distance. And just spray it like within the root area and then I just let it sit for a couple seconds then go through and rub it in give it a good zhuzh and of course make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this so you're not just like spreading oils and i put a glove on this finger i cleaned out the cut oh my god it hurts so bad and uh put a glove on just to keep it dry it seems like the bleeding stopped or at least slowed down so I'm hoping by tomorrow it'll be better. I don't know, cause it's just like in a really awkward, weird spot. Um, a little secret that I haven't told anybody yet, but I have an appointment in a few days to get my extensions put back in. Cause it's been almost a full year since I first chopped a significant amount off. I originally, it was like down almost to my butt 
and then I cut it to like here-ish and then I just kind of like kept gradually going shorter and shorter and I really loved it but I just feel like where it's at right now is kind of an awkward length. I like it either a few inches longer or a couple inches shorter and I was kind of tempted to chop it again but then it's gonna just like I know I don't want to keep my hair like that forever especially having curly hair naturally it's tough to have your hair be that short because you kind of have to do something with it because otherwise if you just air dry it it kind of like froze out I feel like if I cut it again it's just gonna prolong the grow out process so yeah I don't know I was debating I was like should I like add layers to it or something to give it more shape because right now aside from the bangs that I'm growing out it's all one length and it especially when it's styled like this it's giving like mushroom cut Lord Farquaad kind of one of the other stylists in the building where I rent my suite does hair extensions and I also get a lot of clients all the time that ask me about extensions and I don't do them it's just not something at least right now that I'm interested in doing so I thought it would be a good opportunity to also get to experience another stylist in here so that way I can refer my clients to her and have like first-hand knowledge because I don't like to recommend products or places or you know service providers to people unless I have personal experience with it and I can vouch for it personally I don't know how long I'm gonna keep them for or anything like that but it'll just at least hold me over I would say for like another couple months till my hair grows out a little bit more and then I'll see how I feel but I'm excited about that I'm excited to have long hair again but don't worry I will share all of that so stay tuned that'll be in the next vlog a week after I get them put in I'm gonna be flying back up north to go to a wedding with my boyfriend and I want to try to not tell him so that way when he comes to pick me up from the airport he'll just be like oh my god although he claims that he likes my hair no matter what and he doesn't care have a preference but you know how men are with long hair you know so anyway all that to say I'm gonna enjoy the short hair while I still have it for the next few days I just got done finished my last client she was amazing ah oh, what a good way to end this like weird crappy week I am about to head home now and finally start my weekend I'm so excited to just spend time with my friends so I am going to end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you soon bye Thank you.